to start this video for literally over a month. I've got a bit of stage fright, I'm not gonna lie. I was just about to do my hair because it's still damp. It's gonna blow dry through it, but I'm thinking I'm just gonna be putting on a hat probably anyway. I actually kind of like this wave today. I never, ever, ever wear my hair like wavy or curly since having it shorter. I actually think I'm getting my extensions back in, which I'm very excited about. Um, but hello guys, welcome finally back to my channel. It has been far too long. We can go into everything, catch up, give you guys a little bit of a life update throughout this video. Right now, we need to leave. Just about to drop Fia to her music class with her childminder. Usually we drop her to her childminder at nine, but we just had some things going on this morning. Again, I'll catch you guys up in a bit. It's kind of hard to film when the kids are around because it's so noisy. But I hope you guys are all well. It's been so long that I hope you guys have had a nice Christmas. I hope you guys had a nice new year. We're basically in February right now. And I do apologize. I am sorry for being a little bit MIA. And I have actually been filming for literally throughout the whole of December. I even filmed over Christmas. I've been filming for the past three weeks. I've just been in such a like a negative headspace with my content. Um, but I'm forcing myself to upload this one, okay? So I'm holding myself accountable by telling you guys that. Anyways, I need to get some trousers on. Fia's ready to go. I'm gonna change my trousers and then we... You're just gonna spend the day with us. Day in the life, catch up. Let's do it. A really quick outfit of the day. I've got these like wide leg joggers on from ASOS. Literally live in these. And then this top, this long sleeve top I've got on is from COS. And then this jacket is from Zara. Shoes, what is that on my jacket? Just a crumb. Shoes are the specials, specials. I wore them in London, they're actually so comfortable. But yeah, I think I'm gonna put a hat on because this is gonna frizz up so bad. Also, my earrings are from COS as well. I picked them up in London, which we've just come back from yesterday. Two favorite scents right now is this one, By the Fireplace, and then the Huda, it's not Huda, it's, I've literally completely forgotten, so I'll tell you in the car. I feel like you can see the colour of this jacket better now. It's so nice. I picked it up in Zara yesterday. I, well, I say my favourite Zara in London is the Sloan Square one, but the one in the Battersea Power Station was so nice. I couldn't even get time to look around it. I feel like when we go to London with the kids, it's literally mayhem. Like, there's no, I did want to vlog. I just didn't really have any free hands. Pick up the camera and vlog and we went with my family. But what I did get, I will insert in a minute. Also, the, the suitcases are so good. Yes. So, in December, I think it was, or maybe November actually, I think it was for Black Friday, I worked with a brand called Monos and it was like a luggage company and it was incredible. We are actually going to Dubai in three weeks, which is so exciting. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit nervous first holiday of having all three kids but also the longest flight we've ever done with the kids even just the two of them but we have got a big suitcase from monos that we're going to take as well but we took the smaller one i think it was like a cabin one and then there's like a hold all and it like attached to the suitcase and it was just amazing the quality of the stuff was insane but we are just heading to drop fear off now we then need to pop to see Connor's dad. He's going to pop into Costa and Boots. I need to get some plasters. I need to get some epiderm because I think I mentioned this just a minute ago that Fia had a massive flare up over the weekend of her eczema and this is also another thing that's making me really nervous for holiday because the last time she had a flare up that bad was when we were on holiday and when we took her swimming and we did take her swimming last week. I'm going to swim in the game. You are, you're going it. tomorrow, baby. It just makes me so anxious that it's just gonna burn her skin. I just don't know what we can do. We were in this situation last time, like there's, I, we just don't know what we can do about it. Any cream that we try, we've got the steroid cream, it just doesn't help. So I'm just hoping she'll be okay tomorrow because I don't know if she, the chlorine has like- to, We need to, she won't shower at the poor weaver after. So she might do it, I'll ask her. But the thing is, it's so busy. But to be fair, we can just shower her at home. Yeah, we literally just need to take her straight home and shower her. I put my finger on the door and I want you. <laughs> you did, didn't you, in the hotel? Such a brave girl. She also, this is what I mean about like vlogging, <laughs> about filming with the kids away. Um, so she had this massive eczema flare like all over her body. I thought she had measles because it was all over her hands. It was just everywhere and I had to shower her like multiple times. She was in the bath at like two in the morning. And now it's all nanny. Yeah, and then the next morning we went into my mum's room who 
who was next door and I left the room to go and put some eye drops in my mum had given me and Fia came to follow me and she got her finger jammed in these massively heavy doors is it down here? well I don't know where it is she got her finger jammed in the massive doors and her nail was like black and it was bleeding everywhere and she didn't stop screaming so crying London for half an hour London London. London. We've already been to London this weekend, darling. You so went, I need to pick you up went some... to the History Museum, didn't you? So the point of that story was that I need to get Epiderm. It's like a barrier cream to put on. And I need to get some blister plasters. And there was one other thing. But yeah, so Costa, Boots, Seek on his dad. And then we've got to go get a special something for a special somebody. But yeah, what do you think mummy and daddy are going to get for you today? What have you been asking for? And I said you could have it if you were a good girl. Boy. Boy, I have a girl. Yeah. I am a big girl. You are. She was such a brave girl and such a good girl. We went in the shop the other day and they she really- They were all pretty good in London. They were good. It's just, it is it's just carnage. Like, it's I feel like- It's a lot of moving about, isn't it? Yeah, and getting in and out of taxis and things like that. But um, she really wanted this dress from she really wanted the bell dress <laughs> and we said no the other day and I said if she was a good girl she could have it. What should we have for dinner tonight? Jacket potatoes. Oh yeah, I love a jacket potato. I feel it's like that's one of- salad. Yeah, I feel like when I was like a kid, if mum said we had jacket potatoes, I'd be like, yuck. It was one of those dinners that you just didn't want to eat, but now I love it. So yeah, we need to pick up a few well, bits for dinner. Mom's not going at the beach. Yeah, we're at the beach, aren't we? No, we're taking you to music class. I'm going to run you in. Anyway, so we're just about to drop Fear off. Not that we know where we're actually going. Did you have what to say? She sent me to church. Romy's actually asleep right now. But also, I feel like this is another thing that I've been missing out on showing you is Romy's probably huge compared to the last time you saw him. We've got so much to catch up on. She was so cute going in there. Really? Yeah. She was a little, she's gone a little bit shy. I forgot to say what the perfume was. It's the Kayali one. Kayali wedding. I'll show you when we're home for definite because I can't remember. San I feel like it's like wedding Santal and then it's a number but I can't remember the actual number. I was just saying to Connor, I'm literally so excited for my, I, it's so terrible. I feel like I literally am one of those mums now that just, the highlight of the day is coffee. It's bad, it's really bad. Like all I wanted to do the other day in London was find a good coffee and they were all just not not up to par. That one from the train station was terrible. Oh, yeah, but that was just like it. Yeah, that it was, was that's terrible. The pumpkin. Oh dear. Hello. To put your hood up, it's a bit breezy. Isn't it? Connie's got a new wedding band. A cheap one. A cheap one. Yes. Thank you. Guys, I am fuming. They didn't put the lid on properly, and also, sorry, Romy oh, hates the car seat. Had to take the lid off, because they didn't put the lid on properly, sorry. Romy literally hates the car, no matter what I say or what I do. Unless I'm literally sat next to him, or even so. Unless he's out the car seat, he hates the He'll be the there car. in two minutes, right? But yeah, bit, bit annoyed about this. Right, sorry, this is really noisy. Right, quickly pop back home to change my trousers. These are the ones I have on now. These are from Uniqlo, literally love these. They're so comfy. I love them so much that I picked them up in navy whilst I was in London. I have so much to show you guys that I'm, I've just been loving, these shoes included. But also at the start of the video you may have seen that I was using the UK Lash Eyelash Serum. Loving that. Loving that. I also use the iPads in the morning when I can because I get really swollen eyes. This is again another thing that I need to catch you guys up on. I literally have just been reacting to everything I've been putting on my face. So every morning I've been waking up with like swollen eyes. Um, that's why I was borrowing the eye drops from my mum yesterday. So those really helped to deep up. But I've been using the eyelash serum, which I'll show you guys fully later when I get back. But postpartum hair loss has also been included in my eyelashes, which is really bizarre. Um, I'm not entirely sure what the reasoning behind that is. Yeah, also I used the eyelash curler from them earlier as well. Guys, I was just coming on here to finish off my makeup um, because I was editing this video, which I'm so excited to post because it's been so long. 
Um, and half this clip is missing and I don't know why. It just goes black. I don't know if anybody else has like continuous problems. <gasps> this is girl. Oh my God, so cute. Well, there's two. Can you see them? Guys, ignore the rubbish. I mean, that was completely off topic. I'm just obsessed with these squirrels. They're literally like my pets at this point. They come and bury their nuts. Look at him. But I read on Google, they forget. Oh my God, he's like proper. Oh, he's found it. Bob, he found his nut. I can't cope. I read online that they sometimes bury their nuts and they can't find them. I literally, my brain and my life at the moment is just like, Pew, 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 pew. So I'm really sorry about that. You may have noticed that in the vlog, which is also another reason why I have been a little bit quiet, but I'm gonna have a full catch up with you guys at the end of this video. But at the start of this video, you would have seen that I was using these eye patches underneath my eyes. Now I try and use these in the morning because as I mentioned, my skin has been reacting to everything. I don't even know if you can see. I get like hives when my skin reacts and I know exactly what it was I used. It was a new face cream. Um, I don't know why I do it to myself. Um, so I put these on in the morning to help with my swelling and tiredness. They're infused with vitamins and hyaluronic acid, so it's great for dark circles because you guys know that I am not getting enough sleep right now. They're also great for fine lines, crow's feet, wrinkles, and for me, what I need it for is brightening because, yeah, as I said, my dark circles in the morning are just not the one. Well, I mean, without makeup on, I look unwell. And also, I feel like I've aged about 30 years since having Romy, which is not the one. So I've been really enjoying these. They're really nice and soothing and cooling, which is just dreamy. And then the reason I'm jumping on now, because I still haven't done my mascara, but um, the lash serum I've been using. It's so easy to apply. You literally just apply it. I mentioned that my postpartum hair loss has also included my eyelashes, which is so bizarre. I don't know the science behind it, but it's just... Yeah, I feel like we're slowly getting back on the right track of my hair growth. So I'm excited to be using this again because I do get my eyelashes LVL'd and so I notice them feeling a little bit like they need the serum. A crucial part of my routine as well is to use an eyelash curler. If you don't use an eyelash curler, I don't know what you guys have been missing out on because look at the difference. It literally just helps so much. Even if I'm not putting any product on top, I always curl my lashes because I just feel like it opens my eyelashes up while my eyes are wider and brighter and I need that as I said and then if I am going to be wearing mascara I will use this one from UK Lash I love this I personally find I prefer a mascara that has a thinner brush like this because it lengthens a lot better and I find it more easier to apply rather than like a big thick wand I to use my time wisely whilst Romy's asleep I find it so difficult to film when the kids are around so when they're at the childminders at school and Romy's asleep, it's the perfect time to catch up with you guys. But look at the difference in my lashes. Look how lengthening it is. And it's not clumpy, it separates them beautifully. And that's what I want from a mascara because I hate like clumpy looking mascara. So I'm just gonna apply it on this side as well. I feel like I don't actually wear mascara enough because when I do actually wear it, I'm like, that makes such a big difference. I look so much more awake and alive when I've got mascara on. I don't know why I don't wear it more. It's really just so good. I am obsessed. And that is my lashes, all done. That is my current lash routine. I am literally obsessed. It works so, so well. And I have noticed a difference using the lash serum. Us postpartum girlies are on this journey together. So highly recommend checking UK Lash out. I'll leave it down below in the description box. Also, I bought the perfume to show you guys. It's the Kayali, the Wedding Velvet Santal, Santal, Santal 35. This smells dreamy, literally dreamy. I love it, I'm gonna put it on now. I feel like I'm just gonna be word vomiting on you guys in this vlog, which is probably not what you wanna see. But let's actually go do something. m and is where we're going. I won't show you guys Matalan because we're literally running into Matalan to get the dress. We now actually need to run into Halfords for Connor's dad. Also, these two duckies live on this pond, but they've been gone for so long. And they usually come back this time of year. And this is the first time we've seen them. I literally love it around here. There's so much wildlife. Am I old? I think I'm old. What's up, baby boy? Where's your dumb? No, as soon as we stop, he wakes up. Anyways, I've just popped into Matalan, picked up her dress. It's got a mark on it. I don't know if you can see. And then I picked these up for Rome, so they're so cute. These are the matching vests. <laughs> Mum life, honestly. I'm really sorry, guys. Like, every time I try to vlog, this happens. 
which is another reason why it's been impossible to try and get some content because at least one of my children are crying at all points of my life, I swear. He's just really tired. I fed him just before we left so he's not hungry. He's not done a poo. He's just so tired and he just needs to be moving. Please let me know if anybody else's babies are like this. I was literally saying just a second ago. You need something to entertain it. Yeah, I said I don't know what we can do to fix this. That all came to 20 quid. What? Yeah. Oh, I, with the card? There must have been more than that gift card. No, there wasn't, because they said there's £12 left here, and that was £8. Fair tool's not working, because when I got this and this, this was £8, and this was 9 99 She charged me £12. But everything's on sale. Well, so you get buy one get one free basically. But that's forty pound. That's thirty six pound ninety nine. Yeah, so, and how much did it come to? And what did you buy? An air freshener. Yeah, it came to it came to twenty pound and nine pence. Really? Oh, I got cards. Yeah, they've mess no. their, their tills not working. They're lovely. Well, let's go before they clock on. Before they hound us. We're not thieves. We oh, pay. No, they messed up. Oh, anyway, let me show you guys what I'm talking about. Look at that! I don't know if he's getting cross, I don't know. Right, the reason I keep taking my hat off when I get in the car is because I got a new claw clip. See if he's loving it or not because I can't see in the mirror. Do you like my hair today? Yeah, it's cute, I like it when it's just like that. I've not done anything to it. That's cool, I like that. It's edgy. Edgy? This might not even hold my hair when I get my extensions back in. Does that look cute? Yeah. I don't think it's in properly, but I like these trousers in a mess. They're really nice. They have them in camel. I'm gonna get these ones. I like these. We're at MS Cafe. Rome's just having a feed. MS do the best bubble teas. This is a strawberry one, it's so nice. Liv's uh, feeding, filming. Mm -hmm. Watermelon, because I can't eat anything else here. Well, I've got you, you got a sausage bat. No, no butter. Mm -hmm. I'll keep the three cucumbers. Yeah. Yeah. Pam. Mm -hmm. Can't come to m and without getting these. The vegan ones were incredible. Oh, I'm finished. Oh, and the healthy eating gone wrong today. Got some free flowers in MS for yesterday's date, so she, so she just told us to take them. These are meant to be this colour, aren't they? They're not gone white because they're dead. Probably. You wanted the you wanted them once. Yeah, I know I did, but I thought this was the colour of them and then she was like, you want them once? She gave us the pink ones. That's what this oh, was. Oh, that's the probably because they're diet. That's oh, what I'm we're such muppets. Yeah, that's what they I'm thinking. They look dead, bub. Really? Why are you giving me these? I can't eat them. These are Connor's cookies, and, and then these are mine. These are honestly the best cookies ever. Like vegan, they're just amazing. They're just in general insane. Oh, look how chunky that is. God, it's so blue on the camera, guys, because we've got this light on. Rooms loves it. Yeah. Ask why that is in this house because I don't know. There's no other colour it changes to, it's just blue. I think I like this little life. I do this. I like this little guy. Oh, you scared the life out of him. What have you had in your pocket, baby? I had my finger bleeding. Is it? Let me see. No, we're just pretending. Again? Yeah. Oh, you keep forgetting. Oh, you're just playing. You're not actually hurt yourself. How cute is it when they find their little toes? Licking this out of me. Look at you. He's on the verge now. He's hungry. Dinner ready. Fia, let me see your shoes. Oh, God, yeah. Dinner time. How cute do you look, Mr. Yes, Man? Why do you look so big? I'm not dead, I'm a dress. No.
after um, obviously I said I'd pick this up for fear but this works for my skin as well and as I said it's been reacting to everything um, but you would have seen I put on the eyelash serum this morning and my eyes haven't reacted so that's another good thing if you have sensitive skin the eyelash serum works because yeah trust me I have the most sensitive skin I don't know if it's like hormonal or what but recently it's just been like so intense so back onto the epiderm for me although i've been using this stuff from trini london really good as well but it's the end of the day we've just got rome's awake now and he's literally just about to go down so i need to feed him and then i'm actually gonna make a coffee it's half seven it's what time we normally put romey down oh, what good afternoon 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 yeah oh my god it's nearly time to get fear these days just go so fast. I actually just can't quite believe it. We have recently, I would say just got back, but we haven't just got back. We've been settling Romy for a bit, doing some work, doing some tidying, but we've just got the food shop out to put away. Okay. And I thought I would show you guys our food shop for the week. We did it at Tesco. We're kind of Tesco fans at the moment. Because the quality is good. Yeah, I don't know if you guys are interested in this content, but I love it. I love it when people show me their food shops. So I'm gonna show you guys our. This is what we call our big food shop. So when we have to get like the washing stuff and stuff. Um, and there's a few extras in here that obviously wouldn't be in our usual food shop. However, the non-stick on our pan has gone and these were half price in Tesco. So it was 14 pounds, is that right? Yep. Or was it? No, it was, uh... 16. 16 reduced from 32. Yeah, 16 reduced from 32. And then Connor smashed our Pyrex jug the other day. So we got a new Pyrex jug. So yeah, they need to go away. We've also picked up these. I don't know why we think we're so organized, but actually really randomly, because you can actually get this in Tesco. We got this, well, I got this for Con from Amazon and we have been actually really enjoying it. So highly recommend this book. These we need to hide somewhere that we're going to remember and also forget at the same time so we don't actually eat them before the kids do. <laughs> but obviously they've got the dairy free ones so that's why we got it before any of them sold out and then we just got no other smarty one. So on the most part this is our usual shop with some added extras in. These were on sale because obviously they're like a winter scent but i really really like the smell of these so i got two of these always stock up on oat milk i just usually get which whichever one is on sale i don't know if i like this one the best my favorite is the gray one what brand is that is it oatly it, it could be oatly but this is also our washing scent if anybody ever wondered whenever we do like vintage or anything like that people always ask what we use so we use fairy for lunch we are gonna have avocado toast salad all the good bits so i'm gonna keep it out we don't need mints for dinner tonight because we're at my mum's we go to my mum's for dinner on a thursday which is always really nice got some ham for the school lunches got some bacon got some chicken for salads got tikka chicken as well hula hoops for the kids and then i actually picked these up for me but also they're good for the kids as well but if you're fancying a sweet snack these are literally 10 calories but i also picked up these for fear these are really good because they're dairy free. Reduced fat hummus and I saw these. So I thought I'd get a few of them for me and Fia to try. This is why I can't go to Tesco. I can't be trusted in Tesco because I pick up things like this. We usually do an online shop. But I saw this and I thought, you know what? I can't resist, especially when I'm breastfeeding. This is my current favorite one, my Lululemon one. But I need a backup for when that one needs washing, you know? This was eight pounds. Like salad wise, got mixed leaf, spinach. And then I also picked up these free from yogurts. Tom has these Arla mango protein yogurts. I have this dairy free one. I've not tried the raspberry one yet. And I picked these up again because Con got these for me and Pierre. Was it these ones? Um, Don't know if it was, you, you know. You said they were really nice one then. The next day you said they weren't the Zillion Air. Um, for me to try. But, Raspberries, strawberries, dodgers for the kids, chips that used to go in the freezer. I also picked up here two packets of socks because I, for the life of me, do not know where especially her socks go. And I don't know why there's so many different frilly socks that all look really similar but are different. So, picked up more. Pepper armies, 
These are the kids, one of the kids' favourite snacks. So all these appetites on the telly, so I actually eat some of the serene bars as well because they are low calorie. But these ones are protein ones. And these are vegan as well. So these are chocolate orange and raspberry and vanilla flavoured. So I'm intrigued to try these. I'll probably have one with lunch. Another snack for the kids is these. Baby cucumbers to go with hummus. Food paste, paracetamol, more hummus. This one's a caramelised onion one. It sounds gorgeous. Blueberries, avocados. Oh, these might not be ripe enough. Yeah, what the hell? Why are they green? I don't know what they're meant to look like. They're going to be black. Right, we won't be having avocados then. Oh, that what they say ripe and ready on them. Vegan cheese, best one. Recent find, vegan find. This is also delicious. Carrots, lightly salted crisps, wraps, bananas, peppers, tomatoes, eggs, sweet potatoes, normal potatoes, spring onion, cucumber. And this was the same price as a pack of 10 on Club Card, a pack of 20. So stocked up on them. I'm trying to be good guys and not have the Diet Cokes because I have a Diet Coke daily. I'm gonna try these, okay? What one should I try? Cucumber, lime and mint or raspberry and blackcurrant. What should we go for? Lime, Do you know what? Lime and mint. There was a drink that prompted me to order this that I had in summer at one of the beach cafes. It was like watermelon and lime and mint or whatever and cucumber. So let's put it in my tumbler. So we're actually going to the gym tonight. Oh, I feel like I said that I, I could, I'm going to do a catch up in this video, but I don't know if I'm going to have time. I feel like I would have rambled so much at this point. Got some new trainers and so have I. Mine are in the lounge, I think. Um, we got the hocker. What ones are they? Uh, it's in uh, Arahi. Arahi. Arahi 7. My sister is on her running journey because she is running the Manchester Marathon and Connor's mum is also running the Manchester Marathon, which is really exciting because we're going to go up and watch both of them. Um, and my brother lives in Manchester, so that would be fun to do. And it's also Fia's birthday weekend. And these are my hawkers. They're so nice. Um, and my sister's tried multiple running trainers. And I tried a bunch of hers at the weekend when I went to London. And the hawkers were definitely the comfiest. So I really, I really, really, really want to start running properly. I didn't have any proper gym or running trainers, so hmm. see, I really like that. Not it doesn't quite hit the spot like a diet coat does, but that in combo with that is going to be delicious. Mm, that's good. Right, we're going to make lunch. He is back from a child minders playing with her Polly pockets. Rose is down here. He has just dumped toys all around him. Anyways, I will do a proper Q&A catch up if you guys would like to see that. It's just a bit too noisy in Carnage right now, which is just like 99% of my life. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I am so sorry it's taken me so long to upload it and get to this stage. I keep having people message me and comment on old videos saying they miss me and honestly, it means so much to me. But I don't want to be uploading content where I'm literally just a portion of myself. Like this week I'm feeling better. Like I'm feeling a little bit more me. And yeah, I'm hoping to fully get there soon. Did I show them my hawkers, babe? Yeah. Or did I just show yours? Yeah, I want to show you Oh my goodness. What is Give it? Give me a kiss. That's incredible. Kiss. What's that? A what? Pecan. A pecan. A pecan. A one high do you know what a pecan is? Yeah. What is it? Yeah. A pecan's a nut. Look like how cute he is with his little feet. He's so cute. We are off to the gym. We and are. Dinner. Bye guys.